When rescuers took in this horribly abused pup, another mistreated dog did the most touching thing. Sammy the dog faced a very uncertain future after an anonymous person subjected him to the most despicable animal abuse imaginable. Yes, even after rescuers picked him up and took him to surgery, the pup must have undoubtedly been scared. Sammy didn't have the best start in life. In fact, when the dog arrived at a shelter in Columbia, South Carolina, somebody had sprayed him blue, shot him in the head, and dragged him behind a car. And after this terrifying ordeal, Sammy's anonymous abuser simply left him to die. But when Sammy managed to hang on for three whole days, his suspected abuser apparently had a change of heart and brought him to a shelter. Then his new handlers took the puppy immediately to a surgical animal hospital in Columbia that partners with Rescue Dogs Rock NYC. At the hospital, vets did what they could to try to treat the pup's horrific injuries. Indeed, Sammy had a gunshot wound to his head and a crushed hind leg. The vets gave Sammy skin grafts, and Sammy also needed treatment on his injured back leg. In fact, Sammy's injuries were so significant that the medical team predicted that Sammy would lose the limb in question. You can't hear a story like this without becoming just a little bit harder, the statement continued. How? Why? There are no words to make sense of this type of sadistic evil. So while Sammy's future hung in the balance, he remained at the vets where they placed him on an IV drip, antibiotics, and painkillers. Fortunately, the vets had another mistreated pup staying with them at the same time, a border collie named Simon. Like Sammy, Simon had suffered in his past, and the medical team had him in for treatment. As if recognizing this parallel, Simon seemed drawn to Sammy. In fact, in an amazing scene, the boxer pup Sammy laid on an operating table, and one-year-old Simon decided to introduce himself in the sweetest of ways. Staff caring for both dogs didn't fail to notice the simple gesture of solidarity. The compassion and understanding between animals is beyond me, Jackie O'Sullivan, co-founder of Rescue Dogs Rock NYC said. The picture really speaks for itself, Stacy Silverstein, O'Sullivan's co-founder added in an interview with Today in May 2016. You can see Simon comforting Sammy. It shows that animals have compassion and they feel. The staff at Rescue Dogs Rock NYC decided that Simon and Sammy's sweet moment was too special to keep to themselves, so they decided to post the tear-jerking images on the organization's Facebook page. Unsurprisingly, the album proved popular and soon amassed more than 4,000 shares. Silverstein hoped that the amazing display of compassion would raise awareness of animal abuse in the United States. We want to use this opportunity to educate others across the country, she told Today. And the pair's instant bond only got stronger with time. Yes, during the following days, Protective Simon would often check on his new friend as if to see how he was progressing. Simon would go to Sammy's kennel to comfort him and play with him and sit with him often, Silverstein revealed in her Today interview. While Simon was almost ready to be put up for adoption, Sammy's road to recovery was far from over. Indeed, the boxer pup would likely need more surgeries in the future to save his crushed leg. Although many of their fans were upset that Simon and Sammy weren't rehomed together, Silverstein claimed that it would have been impossible. Speaking to Today, she said Sammy still has a long road to recovery. By July 2016, though, Sammy's bullet wounds had healed and his spray-painted fur had returned to its natural color. But after two surgeries on his hind leg, he was still not fully fit. So in August, Sammy went to New York for his third and hopefully final operation. Amazingly, it seemed like the surgery gave the pup a new lease on life. Photographs of Sammy at his new foster home showed the pup running around in the snow and enjoying time with his foster family. It's not certain what became of the wicked person who abused Sammy so badly. However, the organization had some suspicion that the person who originally dropped him off at the shelter may have been his abuser. 
Hopefully, Sammy will soon follow in his old friend Simon's footsteps and find his forever home as well. After all, their beautiful story shows just how important a simple act of compassion can be when in need.